Hi, it's John. Just doing a quick allotment update. Now, here's some potatoes that I haven't quite got round to digging up yet. They're uh, the blight-resistant ones, so any that are green and sort of come out of the ground, I'll be able to use for, um, if I get them up quickly before the frost, I'll be able to use them for seed, um, you know, to, for next year. So, But there will be some, I mean, some have come out of the ground, but there will, there will still be plenty under the ground there. I think I've got a lot in different places. It's some quite stony ground here so it's not it's not just my fault for not earthing them up properly. I mean the um, uh, there's not that much depth of soil. A lot of big flints. We had a frost about two weeks ago and uh, the yak on here have just been scorched by the frost. I'm going to um, pop them up so I know where they are sort of thing and put them in a frost free place. Got about eight plants here. There's a big area of ochre here. O-C-A. These are like little um, coloured potatoes. Oh some popped up oh, that's potatoes. Um, somebody said leave them in as long as possible and they'll keep growing in the ground. So uh, that's what I'll do. Nasturtions still still alive because frost hasn't hit them yet. The um, yakon in the polytunnel have done amazingly well. I think there'll be some huge tubers on these when I get round to digging them up. Um, they're about six feet tall and they're some are keeled over. I've grown mashua up the side of the um, brassica cage and they're looking good lovely flowers you could grow them just for the flowers these mashua hopefully they'll have lots of big tubers on got plenty of um, globe artichoke plants have survived uh, some young ones here that sprung up and uh, the old ones and um, that one I'm going to have to move because this cherry tree has gone wild. So I'm going to let it. I'm just going to let it expand bigger and bigger. Take the tips out, the tips out to keep the height down because we have to keep it down to two meters. It's a rule we've made. But just let it uh, let it spread horizontally. I think it will take up a huge area. So that's the um, cherry tree and the. Uh, apple tree here which hasn't done that wonderfully and then there's another cherry tree across there um, so plenty of globe artichokes I'll be potting some up and thinning them out people will like these so they'll go well at the plant sale quite a few uh, nasturtiums still about frost hasn't taken um, I planted the nasturtiums so it really is sort of ground cover to keep the keep the weeds down been topping the compost heap up with some comfrey because that's supposed to be very good for compost and nutrients for plants so um, tidying up and pop, top, topping that up so it's all go down the allotment right bye for now